because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Some huge uh, news in the world of boxing yesterday. Gareth, uh, Prince Khalid, Skills Challenge. Um, Saudi Arabia have linked up with Alexander Usyk. They've signed him, co-promotion with his uh, existing promoters, K2, with Alex Krasik. Uh, yeah, massive move, and it's going to shake things up. Definitely um, a good move from them as well, if you look at it. Um, and I think it heralds the prospect, I think, of Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk more likely to happen uh, this year. They all want that fight. The, Saudi wants the undisputed. It's in the it's undisputed fight. It's in their pr uh, press statement, isn't it? Their press um, release um, that they want to make that fight. Um, I think Amir Abdullah has said that they're going to make an offer to Tyson Fury. Um, I can confirm, and Frank Warren confirmed that on Talk Sport last night. Came on, he was a little irate with me over not not on the not on the radio, and, and so was one of Tyson Fury's team, thinking that I was saying that he was avoiding people and he was desperate. But I don't think that it's just they've got a difficult scenario finding him a summer fight. Um, there aren't obvious opponents there. Joe Joyce, if he'd beaten Gilles Jane, would have been obvious. Um, um, Daniel Dubois got Usyk now this summer. Anthony Joshua doesn't want to fight them, as we've heard. That's played out in the last week or two. I get why they were asking Joshua again. Who he fights in the summer, I don't know. But they are looking for a fight for, with, for Tyson Fury in early September. And they, um, as Frank explained last night, they're going to look at the um, mandatory situation for the WBC. And then we probably will get the Usyk fight uh, late in December. u obviously got to beat Daniel Dubois as well. Just picking this back up, Gareth, you talked about um, Frank um, looking at potential options for Tyson in September and they're going to go through the WBC rankings. I've just gone on the rankings. Yeah. Deontay Wilder's number one. Yeah. But they're not going to get that fight, are they? Because they're looking to make Joshua and Wilder the Saudis and clearly the Saudis have been talking to Deontay Wilder and his team. Clearly... Uh, they've been talking to Eddie Hearn and, and Anthony Joshua, and he wants that fight with Wilder. That seems to be the fight that he's going to decide his future on in many ways. Uh, Andy um, Ruiz is number two, but I know he's been having some personal issues, so he might well, not... I don't think it's anything to do with that. I think I've, I've spoken to both George Warren and Frank Warren about this. Andy Ruiz simply wanted too much money. They had talks... And he wants it in the region, I think, of 19 to 20 million US dollars. Yeah, Absolutely. If they, if, they go, if they get a mandatory, which um, Frank's going to meet Mauricio Suleiman about, obviously, if yeah. that gets ordered, then Ruiz is just going to have to take the challenges split. So that could be an option. Yeah, exactly. I know he's got personal issues at the moment. Number three is actually Anthony Joshua, but you yeah. know he's got yeah. other plans. Number yeah. four is Frank Sanchez. Frank. Yeah. Probably going to be Frank Sanchez. Well, it could be Frank Sanchez. That's fine. No issue with that. I hope they do get Frank Sanchez. They're not going to get Anthony Joshua right now, as we've heard. Um, it's a shame. It's the biggest fight out there for us. It's the biggest money fight. It's not the undisputed title, but it's the biggest money fight. It's still a fight we'd all love to see. But God knows what's going on with, with trying to get these two men in the ring together. Well, we've seen it. We've seen it play out over the last three years. It, it's just, it gets close, it gets the tees, and then... You know, you, you, you don't get the cherry on the top, do you? It's, I don't know. I don't know if these guys will ever meet. But having said that, they could both lose and it's still a big fight. Um, but like you say, I've been through that list myself. Frank Sanchez is there as well. Hergovic is the mandatory uh, for um, yes. Usyk's IBF title, I think, next. Um, Frank Warren said to me, he's convinced anyway that Daniel Dubois beats Alexander Usyk. And then we're going to get... Daniel Dubois and uh, Tyson Fury, potentially. Um, Gili Zhang would have been a good opponent, but obviously Joe Joyce has reenacted the rematch clause. I, I think George Warren, it wasn't off the record, but we had a conversation that wasn't on air. Um, and uh, 
Um, it's something that I'll put into a story I'm writing for The Telegraph is, and I agree with him on this, he's got it spot on. The, the Saudi money is a blessing and a curse. The Saudis involved is a blessing and a curse. It's, we're talking about fights, two fights away, that's the problem. They don't want to do them now, they want to do them late in the year. So all these guys have got to fight in the summer because they've got to stay active. Yusuf's got his mandatories. Um, and as I said, to go back to the other thing, maybe I'm wrong then uh, if Tyson Fury's team tell me he's not desperate to fight. I'd be desperate to fight if I was him. I'd be desperate to get in the ring and be active. End of. No, he seems like he is desperate to fight because obviously he's, he's putting in offers left, right and centre to stage fights in the UK. Um, but nothing's come to fruition yet. Um, just to go back to the offer that was sent to Joshua by Team Fury, obviously it's been declined. Yeah. Um, but the two points, the, the the point from Eddie Hearn and Team Joshua was that, look, you know, we're, we're going to do this August fight and then we're going to get loads more money in Saudi against Deontay um, for a fight uh, against Tyson in, in, in the UK. We're going to get plenty more in Saudi against Deontay. Frank's point um, in terms of why they should have taken the fight um, is that, look, if you fight Wilder and Wilder knocks you out, that Fury fight's gone forever. He's not going to... Maybe it is, fight. maybe it isn't, but, it, but I get it. I get why he's saying that. I mean, it may, look, Fury wants the biggest fights. They're talking Fury's side and you can't disagree with them. You can see their point. Fury wants the biggest fights. That's what he's asked them for. Anthony Joshua is one of the biggest fights. Um, Alexander Usyk is one of the biggest fights. Those are the two biggest fights, basically, aren't they? Um, th those are the biggest fights for, for Tyson Fury. Those are the only fights he needs to leave the division with the legacy as the number one of this era. Um, and we want to see the undisputed title and we want to see him in with Joshua. I, I mean, I hope both fights get made. Um, but this is, I'll go back to the three prong thing that I talk about, ego, timing, money. It's all involved here. They can hate me or love me for the things I say. It doesn't make any difference. Believe what you know, not what you see in boxing. I completely get that they are in a bit of a, a, a situational... Uh, look, it doesn't matter about the echo chamber of social media and um, fans moaning at Tyson Fury because he fought Chisora last year and he hasn't had a big fight this year yet. And the fight, you sit pulled out of that fight with Fury as much as Fury, people are saying Fury pulled out of the fight on April the 29th. Yes, the terms probably weren't the greatest for Usyk at the time, but he was eyeing this deal that's just come out, the reason we're talking today. He was eyeing this deal with the Saudis. Mm -hmm. Good luck to him. He's got Poland, where all his homelanders will be supporting him because they're across the border because of the terrible things that are going on in Ukraine at the moment. It's not satisfactory in the heavyweight division right now. We want to see all these guys fight each other. We're starting to see it in the other divisions. We've just reached, as I said, George Warren said it, blessing and a curse. It is. It's a blessing for all these guys to earn such extraordinary money. The gravy train for everyone involved. But it's a curse because they're looking at that end goal, that fight late in the year that's worth so much money that they just can't get anywhere else. And you can't blame them either. Well, I'm not sure about Wilder's situation. I'm not sure if he's going to fight in the interim or not. But let's just say, um, you know, Usyk's going to fight Dubois. If Usyk wins that fight, um, he's ready to go in December. Let's say Fury fights Sanchez. He wins that fight. He's ready to go in December. Joshua's going to fight White, it looks like. Let's say Joshua wins that. Yeah. Ultimately, if that is the way it plays out, do you think we get those four guys in the ring on the same night in Saudi Arabia in December. Well, I mean, it's, I mean I, I'm so sceptical about them doing it. I mean... Well, even even if it goes to plan, what I've just said... No, 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 if it goes to plan, it's going to be amazing. Of course it is. If they've got that ambition and they can do it, and they've got, I'd say, um, 250 million US dollars to throw at it, something in the region of that. But, um, if you've got all those guys in the ring... Let's say forty million each US dollars for 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 Wilder and Joshua. Let's say eighty million. Um, you know, there's figures being thrown about that Fury wants one hundred twenty million US dollars to to fight in Saudi. I doubt whether he'll get that much. Um, I bet it'll be probably a little bit more over half of that. You know, maybe seventy, eighty million, maybe ninety. 
Yeah. I mean, it's extraordinary money. You sick 50 million. He's on a multi fight deal with them now. Um, they won that purse bid for Poland. Obviously, skills challenge are going to get be- behind that fight in, uh, in Poland. It's, it's huge. I mean, if they can do it, it will be extraordinary and it will be something to celebrate. But you've got to get all these people around the table and all the egos satisfied and all the bank balances satisfied. If they can do it, amazing. They've got the money, they've got the ambition. I'm skeptical until it's confirmed. Okay. You know? But it's a brilliant thing to try for. Gareth, appreciate your time and uh, we'll speak soon in the week. Always a pleasure, Umar. Cheers. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shot up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. Win it their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.